Uh, okay, let, let me get dressed, basically. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's morning here in South Africa. It's a, uh, um, I don't even know what day it is. It's Wednesday? Something like that. It's a, stuff has been happening. Oh, let me put this up more. Sorry, 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 sorry. Getting dressed in front of you guys. This is not good. Okay, look. Hot tea. Look, I just woke up. I literally just woke up, rolled out of, well, you know, da 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 da. Did a little prayer, meditation, did a little exercise. Uh, that's why I'm dressed the way I'm dressed, but now I'm dressed right. Um, but, oh, I But, you know, of course, I, at some particular point, I checked my, you know, I checked my, 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 my thing. Um, and my guy, I'll leave this one alone. My guy in the States, um, because I'm here in South Africa, I've been here for a while, and I have some people in the States that I communicate with all the time, or they communicate with me, however you want to say it that way. Uh, but one of my uh, cats is out of Atlanta, yeah, and um, he, uh, uh, whew, just a little complicated. Let me put it this way. The problem is this. Look, I have no credit cards, nothing like that. I got a debit card, and gets a little, I get a little pension because of, you know, thing with the, the VA, whatever have you. That's how I sustain myself. But I live very, very low to the ground. So I don't, you know, so if something happens in the States, I can't buy, so I don't buy stuff online. I don't even spend a lot of money anyway. I live low to the ground. Okay. But, 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 but when I need something done in the States, usually I have my sister do it or something like that and like that. But this particular thing, because uh, Nelson, you know, my cat in, um, in Atlanta, you know, uh, he gives me all kinds of cultural things. He lets me know what's, what's going on. I'm going to put my glass on. I'm not going to put my glass on. Oh. Lock glasses. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I look right now. Like this man. Oof, it's morning. Okay. So anyway, uh, so I asked him to do me a favor because you know you have the ADOS conference happening in uh, in October, and I, and they have between now and I think April fifteenth, something like that. They have uh, discount tickets like fifteen fifteen dollars, you know. And before then they had it even for free, but that was a very very beginning, you know. So I. Email Nelson. I say, yo, man, got to go to this conference. You know, we need to go to this conference. You know, buy some tickets. You know, blah, blah, blah. so he went and bought me some tickets. Let me see if I here it is. Here it is. Inaugural inaugural ADOS conference. Uh, hashtag American DOS. Uh, hashtag ADOS. That's the that's the thing right there. And um, here's the uh, little thing. You know what he said. Carnell and and, and and Antonio Moore pictured there because they're the ones that uh, started the ADOS uh, thing. See, two tickets ordered a total thirty five dollars ten cents. I guess some sort of what charge. It's tickets like fifteen dollars. So got two tickets, one for him, one for me. We're gonna take a road to October fourth, uh, uh, twenty nineteen, nine a.m. through Saturday, October fifth, uh, twenty nineteen, two uh, two p.m. I actually hope that they do an overnight thing. They just keep on going. That I actually, do, I hope I this is going. true, like that. Okay, just a second, baby. I'm talking to the people. Okay, Simmons College, Kentucky, 100 South Street, for whatever, 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 like that. So I'm official. We going, me and my man. We going. This is like American DOS. We gonna be hitting it. Okay, that's one thing. So now I was thinking. Oh, let me. Oh, I got. I don't have any sky on. Man. Sky. I'm gonna put sky. I'm gonna revolutionary sky. This uh, I'm gonna go on the black side. Well, this is what I call my Ogun hat because you know Oguns is West African, you know Yoruba uh, culture. Anyway, I'm a child of Ogun, and I'm, I'm American DOS, but in the Yoruba pantheon, I'm a child of Ogun. Okay, doesn't matter. Anyway, in in North America, Ogun's colors are red, black, well, uh, green. Uh, black and a dash of red. So this is green side. This is the black side. It's a dash of red. So let me put my revolution I had on that and I talk to you guys. Uh, 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 can't I'm sorry, a little wrinkled shirt, but don't worry. Okay. So then what happens? Bernie Sanders yesterday, you know, announces that he's going to run for you know the Democratic nominee for president of the United States. Now this is exciting because. Well, it's just exciting. I, I actually contributed last time around to Bernie's, uh, Bernie's campaign. I think that was the second person I ever contributed to. I think a long time ago I, uh, I contributed to Doug Wilder, 
you know, the Virginia, the Virginia governor or whatever, whatever he was running for. I contributed to his campaign. I don't, I never contributed to Barack Obama's campaign. I bought a button or something like that. But nobody else, I think, cash, hard cash money, Bernie and, and Doug Wallace, the only people I ever contributed in my whole entire life. Okay, so I'll probably do another thing later on because I'm, I should be in the States, hopefully, in um, July, August, September, October, October, yeah, because it's the October thing. So I should be in for four months. So I'll be doing a lot of stuff there. Okay, back to Bernie Sanders. So, so you know, so advice, commenting. So one comment, I said, well, let me take this opportunity, right? So I wrote, you know, oh, Bernie, I'm glad that you, you know, I supported you last time, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're, you know, you're going to, you're gonna run, um, and then I said something like, uh, you know, um, um, be curious to find out how you're gonna deal with the uh, with the um, uh, um, uh, ADOS or American descendant of slavery uh, 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 demands, agenda, or whatever it is. Um, I said uh, something like. Um, uh, you know, because uh, uh, their agenda and reparations, I, I separated to, you know, you know, the ADOS movement, they're about the agenda, but they're also the reparations is at the is, is one of the things, but at the core is just about it, it come, it, uh, getting out to re restore us to what we're supposed to be as citizens of the United States of North America. Anyway, so I wrote that something, then I wrote down the ADOS, da 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 da, and then I said, well, you know, uh, you should, you know, are you going to be there? <laughs> you know, I said, then I said, you know, you should, uh, what you need to do is, uh, when they ask you questions about ADOS or, or reparations, just say you'll have a full statement, whatever have you, in October. Come to the conference and, and avail yourself then between between now and then. Just do your regular, do, do your core thing. You do your regular, you know, talking to talking to Negro things like whatever it is, you know. But you know, but your major statement is going to come at this conference. Wow, idea. What are you doing? Now? I don't care. Then I wrote in there and say hello to Nina Turner and Killer Mike. You know, it, it, I don't know what I might just say, say hello to them, I like that. I just want to throw that in there. And I said, but stay away from those, those I call them Neo-Negroes, N-E-O, capital N-E-G-O, um, S, Neo-Negroes. Neo-Negroes, basically, are people that, well, that pimp, pimp the downtrodden, black downtrodden. So I put that in there, and that was it. So I'm excited, you know. It's a good time. Let me put my glasses on now. Sorry, I missed the glasses there. Okay. So that's it. Good news from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Hey.